Today, a bustling nation. Long ago, nothing but natural resources waiting to be turned into cars, TV sets, and atomic bombs. The naive natives have no idea how valuable the land is. They simply live on it. But Europeans changed that. The Vikings set up camp, but soon leave at the request of the Beothuk people. It's a last request. Then comes Giovanni Cabotto, known as John Cabot because it's easier to pronounce. Cabot claims Canada for England and reports there are inexhaustible amounts of cod. Modern technology proves him wrong. Jacques Cartier then claims Canada for France. He persuades natives to return with him to be exposed to European ideas and diseases. Then comes Henry Hudson. He claims Canada for England again. Trying to reach the Orient, Hudson goes north and west, south, west, northwest, until his crew has had enough. Others follow. Samuel de Champlain believes that the route to China is up the St. Lawrence River. He rapidly learns otherwise. British and French ships continue probing for a route around Canada until someone discovers that the little beaver makes a great hat. Many great hats. Canada's no longer an obstacle, it's something to fight over. <laughs>